I recently picked up this crate from work because they were going to get rid of it, so we're going to repurpose this into a sanding car for the shop. kickback sequence in three, two, one. And now that I've had a heart attack, we can get everything cut to the final lengths for the shelves and get ready for the dados that we're going to put the shelving in. Now that we have our dado blade in, we are going to set it to its final height and start our dado cuts and cut one shelving unit and then move on to the next and make sure that every one of them are all aligned. So I'm going to flip these three panels over and do the same thing on the other side halfway in between the other dados. That way I can minimize the wood for the shelving. Now we're back in the garage and we're going to put two of these panels, one on each side of the crate. That way we can get everything set up for these shelves to go in. And again, we're going to need to cut a few different panels. That way we can brace the bottom and get everything ready to install that way it's nice and strong right here what i'm doing is getting these interior panels all screwed into the top and making sure that they are nice and square and once we achieve that we are ready to start putting in some shelves and getting this bad girl done And the build wouldn't be complete if I failed to add some unnecessary walnut to it. So I put walnut on the end of each shelf because each shelf actually has a little bit of a gap. So um, this stops everything from sliding around that's on the shelf and the shelf from sliding too far back. With that being said, it is now time to outfit all these drawers to what I need. All right, guys, there you have it. There's a quick and easy shelf for all my sanding materials and probably a bunch of other things. But I made that out of a repurposed weapons crate that I got from work that they were going to throw away. I appreciate you guys joining me on this journey. And make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And with that being said, I am going to have to make this personalized so... There probably will be another video in the future, but for right now, I've got it set up with exactly how I need it, and there is more shop builds to come. So I appreciate you guys joining along in the journey, and we will catch you on the next video. See ya.